What is up friends and family, welcome on my sneak. Uh, my name is Rust and make sure to hit that subscribe button, crush it together so we can grow the family and get more awesome kicks like this. As you can see, 350. I also got an Instagram at my sneaker YT. 350, a relatively small box, as you can see, says knit on this side. And we got the 350 V2 compact in 9.5, which is my regular size. And the colorway is slate. And I would say, let's take a look because it's worth it. It's worth taking a look at those beautiful kicks. Put the other one out as well. So there they are out of the box and they are looking fantastic. And because they are looking so fantastic, I would say let's start off with my sneaker categories. Uh, as mentioned, those are the Yeezy 350 V2 Compact. And here is a picture of, let's say, 350 regular Ash Stone. One of my favorite colorways because it looks stunning. And as you can see right here, the regular Yeezy shape, which is absolutely beautiful. And now look at those. It really makes sense. When you got them in hand at first, you think like, yeah, there's something different, but not that much. Of course, they put this extra thick border at the top to make it stand out. If they would have um, simply put the lines up to this point in the regular color, it wouldn't have made any big optical difference. But with these, this setting right here and uh, wearing them on feet, boom, picture right there. It is totally different. It is a compact sneaker, which I never f imagined because the idea is genius. Um, I would have never come up with a, uh, an idea such uh, of this one. And uh, it all makes sense, but you have to be a creative person, which I'm not, to put out something like this. The, the concept is absolutely stunning and how they did it is even better. Because as you can see here, with these flowing lines, it gives you an impression that the sneaker is generally smaller because the main pattern is smaller as well but stands out a lot more because you got this framing right here and I'm, I'm totally in love with Yeezys. I just started raffling again and I immediately got this pair right here and I'm, I was so stunned. I thought, wow, I really wanted to have them in my hand. I wanted the red version. But um, when the raffle ended, I was like, oh shit, I missed it. Anyway, and now I got the Slate ones because um, Slate always the black colorways go up in price massively, which is always great. And um, you got the fixed laces right here and the regular Yeezy sole, as you might have seen. And the underside is pretty much standard as well. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. I mean, Look at the color light is coming right from here, hitting the inside of the sneaker, which is absolutely gorgeous. A wonderful pair of kicks. And something else I noticed, as you can see right here perfectly, they have been reshaped, a little bit remodeled after the 450s, because right here, as you can see, they are wider as the regular 350 V2s, and the top simply is not cut off, but and a little bit earlier than the regular 350. I'm checking if I got some footage of uh, the regular 350s and the 450s so you can compare them. Next up is fit and as you might have seen um, they look pretty standard and I ordered them in my standard size and they fit wonderfully. They are snug which is absolutely what I like when it comes to Yeezys because you cannot Relace them, readjust them. This is just optical that we got some <laughs> bands right here because these are not laces. Laces are for lacing. These are just there to be there, in my opinion. And it looks gorgeous. I mean, without it wouldn't make any sense, but with it's a fully grown sneaker model. When it comes to comfort, oh man, <sighs> I can already repeat myself with saying. I love Yeezys. Boost, I love Adidas Boost. It is just the most practical, most amazing form of footwear to have. I wear Boost in the gym and I love it so much. It's crazy and the Yeezy Boost 
350, regular, V2, all of them are amazing. I love the comfort, I love how they fit on your feet, the comfort which is wrapping around your foot and then having like a strap for the boost unit. This is what I would call it and define uh, a good Yeezy sneaker, the 350 model, not uh, like the 700 and stuff. But a 350 is a strap for a boost unit which looks amazing and this is how I would describe the comfort and the comfort is wonderful. When it comes to materials it is, I mean we all had Yeezys in our hands before and on this channel as well with, ooh, this is the uh, fifth or sixth Yeezy model that I own and I never got disappointed with the quality starting on the soles. This Rubber is nice and thick, the boost feels amazing and the craftsmanship of all the patterns and how they stand out. This is what you might not have seen on other channels or something or if you haven't hold them in your hands for, for yourself. Check out these different types of bumps. I would call them. It's just not a flat sneaker which has some different pattern. It is higher, lower, flat, but always, always a really interesting pattern, a woven knit, knitted pattern, which always makes me think, yeah, there was someone who cared. There was someone who said, Let's not just make this all flat and just give it a, um, I would say, <clears throat> give it a basic shape, but let's model it. And this is what you can feel when touching the sneaker. It all feels pretty thick and massive. This is what I really like. It is super, super nice on your feet. And by the way, the tongue is super thick. I've just noticed it. That is really really nice. The comfort that they give you is amazing. But enough talking, let's say put them on my feet and let's go. So let's move over to the My Sneaker score where we start off with styling and here it gets a clear 9.5 out of 10 because they simply look absolutely stunning. When it comes to comfort it is one of the most comfortable sneakers I've ever worn and it gets a 9 out of 10. Outfit integration, um, 
is quite easy because the slate colorway offers you a dark color scheme with the I would say a little bit darker sand color on the side it's a little bit more challenging but still quite easy to combine so it gets an 8 of 10 uh, materials a super solid 9 out of 10 because I already told you how much I love the materials and the quality of the sneaker so a 9 is well deserved which brings us to my sneaker scoreboard and we see them at Position number two, right behind the Yeezy 450 in black, with a my sneaker score of 35.5 points. So thanks for watching, my guys, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.